Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and ready to learn something new today. I hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend and that you are nice and full from all that uh, turkey. Okay. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be showing you a way where you can make a few dollars on the side. Last week I told you about one place where I made twenty dollars already and today I'm going to tell you about a place where I already made a few dollars and I just started. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification. Please subscribe. Okay, so a lot of you have asked me about the promo. Some of you are not interested in a free lesson. So I said, okay, my promo, if I get to 1,000 subscribers, okay, I will give a random subscriber either a free lesson or the cash equivalent. What that cash equivalent is, I'm not sure, probably about 40 or 50 bucks. But, again, I will be doing that. Okay, so let's get into today's lesson. Today's lesson is about conjunctions. I did conjunctions the other day, but this one is more about time conjunctions. And I will explain it when we go through the thing. Okay, so they call it future time clauses. A clause is just using the time conjunction with uh, the sentence. I'll explain it to you. Okay, so. Time clauses are introduced with the following time conjunctions. When, as, as soon as, while, before, the moment, that, since, after, by the time, whenever. So these are all time conjunctions. Okay, now let me explain what a time clause is. Okay, so we never use blank after time conjunctions. So basically, we never use the future after time conjunctions. We use the simple, the present simple. Now, let me explain why this is strange. So here's an example. So here, you can see, Sharon will give us the money after she will get paid. No. Okay. So after she gets paid. When will... When we will go shopping, we will. I will buy you some some something nice. No, when we go shopping, I will buy you something nice. See, so after the time clause, it's supposed to be the present. I'll explain why this is so strange. Now, look at Spanish. Okay, I don't know that much Spanish, but en cuanto la vea, le comento la noticias. As soon as I see, as soon as I see her, I will tell her the good news. Okay, so notice that here it's not the same thing. It's the same same. They both use future rather than like with us where we do uh, present, future, pre you know, present and then future. So, so here we're going to fill in the sentences that make sense for the time clause. So the time clause basically is two sentences put together. So I must write down the date in my diary before I forget it. Okay. Let's wait under the, the tree until it stops raining. This job is very urgent, so please do it as soon as you can. So I'm using the, the words on the top. We won't get a table in the restaurant, okay, if we don't book. I'll pay you back when I get my first salary. I can't go 
unless you pay for my ticket. So a lot of people don't understand what, how to use unless. Unless has to be positive, negative, or negative, positive. So some people don't understand that. Okay. When it comes to we won't get a table in the restaurant unless we don't book, it doesn't make sense. It's not positive, negative. So it has to be until. So this is what I mean about uh, certain time clauses. So just remember that after the time clause, you know, after I watch the video, I will upload it. Or after I do the video, I will upload it. That's how a time clause works. When you're using a time clause, it has to be present simple. Then you could use the future. That's why they call it future time clauses. Because you're doing something now that will happen later. Okay, so um, I promised to show you uh, a place where I told you that you can make a few dollars and here I'm going to show you the place right now okay okay so here is called survey junkie I don't know if you can see it I'm trying with this computer sometimes I told you it just uh, doesn't like to doesn't like to follow instructions but it's called Survey Junkie. Survey Junkie. S U R V E Y J U N K I E. Again, I am not a sponsor. I do not get paid to sponsor this place. This is just a place that I have checked out and Unlike some of the other survey sites where you may go through it and then it'll say, oh, sorry, you don't qualify for that survey. So you just wasted a few minutes answering questions for nothing. This one, if you don't qualify for the survey, they still give you two or three points. Now, each point is worth one cent. Okay. They have... Uh, surveys where you can make 150 points, uh, you can make um, 100 points, um, you can make um, 180 points. Now, again, you're not going to qualify for each survey, but at least they give you um, points even if you don't qualify for the survey. So. I just started this about an hour ago, and I'm already up to 372 points. Once I get to 500 points, I can cash out. I will let you know how that works out tomorrow in the next video. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow yet because I have not uh, planned it yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Korean video or another ESL video. I, like I said, I haven't, I've been very busy the last few days, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thing, a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so you will know when my videos come out. Like I said, generally it's after between three and four every day so that everyone can watch it. This is a family friendly channel. Again, subscribe. Okay, I need to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers to be a YouTube partner. Okay, I am offering a promo of a free lesson or the cash equivalent, if you don't want the lesson, okay, to a random subscriber when we get to 1,000 subscribers. However, you must comment. I must know that you're a real person. Otherwise, how am I going to contact you to, for your re reward, you know, for what you, what you win? How can I contact you if I don't know if you're a real person? Okay. And I know that some people have complained that 
they're not able to subscribe on YouTube. And that's probably because uh, you don't have a YouTube account. And it's very simple. You go to YouTube and it'll ask you to log in or, or, or create an account, just like you did on Facebook or any other place. You just put your email address in, you give yourself a password and boom, that's it. That's all there is to it. There's no credit cards, none of that stuff. Very simple, you know, and then you can get to watch whatever you want to watch. And from there, you can subscribe to my channel and see all my videos and check out my playlists. You know, if you're interested in one specific area of, of uh, study, check my playlists out. I have different playlists, you know, one for adjectives or adverbs or conjunctions or my Korean one or mechanical one. They're all grouped into playlists. So if you're only interested in one specific area, you can do that. Again, I thank you and I will see you tomorrow.